Welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making spinach monocotti. My friends at favediets.com have asked me to demonstrate just how simple it is to convert this Italian classic into a gluten free entree. This dish is also great for entertaining since it can be made ahead of time and then easily popped into the oven before serving. We'll start off by making the crepes. For these we'll need four eggs, one cup of milk, one half cup of gluten-free bisquick, and one quarter teaspoon of salt. Now in a medium bowl, whisk the eggs very well, then add the milk and continue whisking. Finally, add the gluten-free bisquick and salt and give it a final mix until the batter is very well combined. Now set the mixture aside as we prepare the filling. In a medium bowl, add 16 ounces of ricotta. You could use a low-fat variety if you want to make this dish low-fat as well as gluten-free. One 10-ounce package of frozen spinach, defrosted and squeezed to remove the excess water. One egg, one-third of a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese, and one clove of garlic, finely grated. We'll also need salt and pepper to taste. Now simply mix all of the ingredients in a bowl until you've got a somewhat homogeneous mixture. Now set the mixture aside while you make the crepes. For cooking the crepes I used an 8 inch nonstick skillet sprayed with nonstick spray. Now to ensure that each crepe comes out nicely be sure to gently stir the batter before each crepe is made to prevent any settling of the ingredients. Heat your pan to medium low before adding about a one quarter cup measure into the pan. Quickly swirl the pan to coat the bottom. Continue swirling the batter towards the edges of the pan until there is no longer any movement in the batter, then set the pan down on the burner. Now let the crepe cook until the top looks dry and the edges start to pull away from the sides of the pan. It won't take more than a minute or so. Now use a spatula to flip the crepe. Let the second side cook for about 30 seconds, then flip the crepe out onto a large plate. Repeat this crepe making process, stacking them one on top of the next until all of the batter is used. This recipe made nine crepes. You can adjust the recipe up or down to suit your needs. All right, now that the crepes and the filling are done, we just need a few cups of your favorite gluten-free marinara sauce to assemble the final dish. I'm using a 9 by 13 inch glass serving dish. Spoon about one half cup of sauce onto the bottom of the dish. Since I have nine crepes, I'll spoon one ninth of the filling onto each crepe before rolling it up and placing it seam side down in my serving dish. Once all the crepes are filled, Top them with additional sauce and a sprinkle of cheese before covering the dish with aluminum foil. At this point you could refrigerate it for a day or so or you could bake it right away at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. If you're baking this dish from the refrigerated state I'd bake it for closer to an hour. When it comes out of the oven let it stand for about 15 minutes to solidify a bit before serving. If you want, you could garnish it with parsley. And there you have it, spinach monocotti. I hope that you give this one a try. Now if you want to see this recipe in print, you could always visit my blog. And for more healthy recipes and tips for virtually any diet, visit my friends at favediets.com. See you again soon.